Josh McNary said that to me. Well, that was great second half. We outscored him nine in the first half and 11 in the second half. It wasn't much. Look, that was two very, very good high caliber basketball teams playing. And they're very unorthodox, so they're tough to play. Go look at their national numbers. I didn't bring my card out or anything. They're first in, in three-point percentage in the nation. I think they're fifth or sixth in scoring in the nation. You know, we held them to 62 points. They're first in uh, first or fourth in uh, scoring margin. I mean, this team played a great defensive basketball game tonight because they're hard to guard because you have to guard them absolutely from sideline to sideline because they shoot the three at all five spots. And if you make a mistake, then they do go inside. If you overhelp and if you don't, if you if you stay in there and help, it's three points. You know, and I, I'm, I'm just so proud of our guys. If I single anybody out, a kid like Adam Eberhardt, the first half, he had five turnovers, second half he goes six assists, no turnovers, and as a team, we go 12 assists, three turnovers. That's the difference in the second half. You, you know, a lot of times a team comes out and makes three or three or four shots, and the defense doesn't really catch up, but your defense. I did, think we I adjusted. Mean, yeah, yeah. I, I, the second media timeout, I said, are you adjusted to the game? You got this. And the look in their eyes was, yes. We can't simulate that in one day preparation. By NCAA rule, we had to be off on Tuesday. We had yesterday. We had individual instruction, a lot of film work, and then we had practice You know, yesterday afternoon and film last night and film again the day before, before the game. But I, I will tell you, that's hard to simulate that. And they're incredible. They're incredibly good at it. I mean, you know, that, that's, that's two very high-level basketball teams playing. And, you know, this crowd, and, and I know Dan McDonald spoke to our players last night, and our players were so, so appreciative tonight uh, of the student body and the community tonight. This was incredible. Just talk about that a little bit more. I mean, you keep that win streak, home win streak going. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I can't talk about that. I, I'm just so proud of this game because we won one in a row tonight. And there's a great likelihood we could play them in a conference tournament as well as the NCAA regional tournament. I mean, they're a very, very good and deep basketball team. They play 11 guys every deep, every game. That scout report, when we were doing the scout on them, I mean, it was just, it's just tougher and tougher and tougher. And they're playing totally different than they played last year. They took 19 threes last year. This year, they're averaging uh, 29 threes a game. They shot 33 tonight. I, I, that's amazing. And they're good defensively, too. I mean, well, they are because they're a slap down team. I mean, they, they, they create steals and their defense creates offense. And I've just, you know, these kids' attention to detail tonight was incredible. But what extraordinary was their support of each other. I know I, that's my my normal, seems like my normal course after every game. But if you're in those huddles and in those locker rooms, you encourage it, you compliment it, you teach it. But when that team starts embracing it, nobody has to tell them. They know it because it's coming from them, not from us.